Hey y'all, how's everybody hey. doing today? Oh my god. Hey, hey, You're what time here. is it? What time? Oh, what time is it? It's 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 eight oh four. What time is it? What? Let me see. Let me, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just one second. Just one second. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, live, this bitch is getting ready to try it. I just want y'all to know we on live air. Eight and this to bitch nine is getting ready to try it. Eastern this bitch right here is getting ready to try and it. And five to six p.m. Pacific. I am not going to say anything, but uh, <laughs> our Brista Bayard Rustin casts a side eye to your lateness. As dead as he is, mm -hmm. that side eye is permanent. Well, good thing, good and thing. It has nothing to do with me. Well, good thing he wasn't late with the, uh, the March on Washington back in 1963. And that is amazing. House and ever, right now where we are, I am here now. And when finally, my ass is dead, finally, I probably will be five or 10 minutes late for my own funeral. Probably. That's just how it is. Is there and we gonna be else you we gonna be say? sitting there like <laughs> we miss him. Mama. How can you be late for your own goddamn funeral? I mean, you already it, did. It's probably gonna happen. It's just something that's just gonna happen. Listen, we've gone through this. You Remember probably gonna have it on your will. You'd be Listen, like, tell him to start the funeral at three o'clock, and I would get there like three fifteen. Me and my mammy would go through this crap all the time because she is very much of I need to be there thirty five minutes ahead of time, and I was like, girl, that means I have twenty more minutes to get ready. So I don't know what. The, so we always had that 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 issue. In fact. I got in more trouble because I didn't have perfect attendance than I did for not having an A. Mm. But anyway, good evening, kittens. How are you? Hey. After we had that very long trying to session. I mean, if you had been here earlier, it would have not eaten into the time. So is it, so I just want to make sure that's what we're going to do all night. We're going to do that all night. All, we're do that all night. <laughs> All night long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what they said. They're going to do this all night long. Okay, so mm -hmm. just want y'all to So be ready it. for it. Be Get ready. into it. Today is Settle Wednesday, your spirit. May the 15th. May the 15th. And you are tuning in to episode number 56 of the BGKH show with yes. Dominion and Epic. He is Dominion, who was on time. I am Epic, who was four minutes and some odd seconds Late. Late. You were late, Blanche. Like your period. You could have started the show without me. How could I? It's it's Dominion and Epic. I'm Boop. annoyed. I'm Boop. annoyed with you. Boop. But Boop. I can't do. Boop. I mean, I could do the show without you. Boop. But Boop. I'd rather not. Oh, so what you're saying is you got feels in there? That was is it like there's feelings rolling in. <laughs> yeah. Effie, Lady. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis was supposed to. <laughs> Epic. Curtis was supposed to. <laughs> welcome to the damn show, y'all. Hi, y'all. How's welcome. everybody doing today? How was y'all week? What's going on? Tell me what's about going it. on. What's happening? What's the yeah, what's the what's the, what's the the gaga? Yeah, yeah, what's the the gaga? What talk, what's going on? Refresh my drink. What's going on? Where? I sent this bitch a text message. I was like, Lashance, you're on at five, and he says, "Okay, touch up on makeup." I was like, "What does that even mean?" Lashance. LaShawn, you're on in five. I'm like, bitch, I'm giving a touch up to my makeup. Bitch, that's what it was. But LaShawn was already in the studio, though. She was still backstage trying to get, she was trying to get her life together. Number I one. told you we were going to do this all night long. She be, this she is all night together. long. All right, whatever. Okay, all right. She uh, had just taken her wig so, off. And all right, all right, all okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, all right. Well, so what the so since you here now, what does the BGKA stand for? Well, the B stands for the blacks. That's what like, it stands for. Like black or like CP time. Like black, like this shirt, like Van like Rust and black. C, like, like CP Van time. Black. Like CP time. Like always the late on the goddamn the time. The G stands for what? Gays. Get, that's what like the gays daytime. always try like you. Always, they always try you. The gays, gays always the, the, try the you. Black gays are always the worst. Try you. The black gays, the gays are always, always the try worst. you. Always. Now, the what's worst. the K for? Kinky. Now that we can agree on, so listen. I guess we can agree on it. But you know what? Well, you know what's the what makes the uh, when when you know your scene partner don't show up on time, it just ruins the whole thing. But your scene partner always delivers. I mean, I guess has there been a time that I have not delivered? Well, adjust your glasses, bros. I mean, I guess, but I guess that all just makes us human. 
Anyway, so next it says banter about how our week was. Okay, so how was your? <laughs> dumb, just dumb. Um, how was your week? My week was actually pretty. Girl, good. Did you get your brakes together? Because we, oh my god, before, when we left last week, your car was like. It's like, it's like that. It's like that. Uh, Let me that, fill uh, you in about that. Fred Flintstone rock. <laughs> rolling Let across me the street. fill you in about that. I'm so I'm not going to name any names, but what I'm going to say is, so A, yes, I did get my brakes fixed. Finally. After finally having this conversation with a friend's friend and all this. So this is what I thought he was going to hook you up. This is what happens when you try to do shit Jack Leg and, and Jack Leg and Back Alley. Oh, that's why you so, take that shit to Meineke. Right. And so I'm, I'm, you know, I was, I'm in a predicament where I'm trying to stave a little coins and I'm trying to like, mm -hmm. trying to get it together. And basically... What I already knew, I needed rotors and I needed pads, mm -hmm. and um, I already knew that's what was going on. Mm -hmm. Apparently, because I waited so long, there was something else that happened. One of the calipers had kind of went through, and yep. so there was a um, the brake line fluid Been had there. to be uh, done over again. And so mm -hmm. all that's fine. But now here's where the the the, the shade comes in, the and I'm I am getting ready to apologize ahead of time. Is this my good Bristol Smokey? Hey, Smoke, what's going on? I am getting ready to apologize ahead of time. Hey, for, Kendrick. Hey, Ryan. Uh, talking about this in public and I'm not going to say any names but the person that was going to do my breaks mm -hmm. they charged me x amount of dollars and said in order for me to get started I need x amount of dollars ahead of time okay no problem and I'm fine with that because should we subtitle this the goop let no because it might be it, you tell me when I get finished okay so I said no problem I sent them what they asked for no big no tea I told them this is what's going on um, what and was I that show fact, on uh, NBC? Can I finish the dog show? I mean, the I'm just trying to remember what was Dateline. Dateline. This date. This is Dateline. Or, or to catch a goop, to catch a predator. To catch a goop. To catch a goop. To catch a goop. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. So okay. So they told me how much it was. I was all right. Cool. Fine. I said, but just so you know. No, no, no. Sorry. sorry one more time. Goop or no goop. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's all right. So. so um, they know how much they told me what, how much it's going to cost. I said, mm -hmm. okay, I'll give it to you ahead of time. I said, but when I brought it back to them, I said, listen. This is what has happened from the last time that I talked to you. My mm. brake is no longer my brake pedal is not lo no longer sitting up here. I'm pressing all the way down to the floor. So that's why he was saying Ooh. it's going to probably be a little bit more, and you're going to have to probably take it to the shop because I can't do stuff here. It's not a simple thing. I was like, no problem, cool. Tell me what you're talking about. They told me it was going to be a minimum of a uh, possibly a minimum of of two hundred dollars extra to a maximum of four hundred dollars extra. And I was like, okay, fine. At least I have an idea what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Fine. Get into the shop, find out it's not the maximum. It's only an, an extra uh, caliper and some other things. Okay, great, fine. Now, meanwhile, I didn't gave you some money ahead of time. Mm -hmm. and you came out and gave me this price, and I'm like, okay, great. So I'm thinking, you're getting ready to duck what I gave you from this? Oh, but no. And the way you had it worded was labor <laughs> for, the, for the caliper, the caliper itself, and then you had a brake service. Now, I done bought the brakes, pads, and the rotors. Um, like you bought them at like AutoZone and bought them to his because house? Because I sent you the money to get them ahead of time. Right. Okay. So when you charge me, I'm thinking, oh, you're going to deduct this from this bill. Here's the goop meter. This is no goop. And this is goop. So when I get this bill, I was like, well, so are you going to take this deduction off for the for the what I sent you? Um, well, no, because and I said, well, wait a minute. If you're charging me for this part and the labor for this part, then why are you charging me for break service of this amount? Which just so happens to be how much I gave you ahead of time. So meanwhile, I'm sitting there and I got mad and I'm sitting there saying to myself, all right. This is a friend of a friend, and, and I, I'm trying to be all calm and cool and collected about it. But I already go into car situations or car repair situations knowing that I'm going that it's always some foolishness, and I feel like you are always at their mercy at any and every time. Mm -hmm. So to be clear, I expected to pay up to probably seven or eight hundred dollars for rear brakes, pads, and rotors. Mm -hmm. So let me be clear about that. What I wind up paying, even with the money that was not deducted from that total, was still less than five hundred dollars. I was annoyed because I feel like you should have deducted what I gave you ahead of time and how you have this written on this receipt. So the total of everything was only $500. Less than $500. Plus. No, no. The total of on the receipt was $315.
but you'd already given him two hundred dollars. One hundred fifty dollars ahead of time. So I still you should have less than five hundred dollars total. Yes. So you feel like your bill should have been that minus one fifty. That is correct. Oh, okay. Now, so he very, basically charged like a service charge, and that's that's exactly what I chalked it off to. So now I feel I felt like. I so and and like I said, I understand. So there is the there's the actual goop. So there's the 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 there's the actual goop. So did you get gooped? And the goop in spirit. Okay. So did you actually get gooped? Yes, you got gooped. You got gooped based on what you paid. But overall, exactly the spirit. You did not get gooped because for five hundred dollars for everything that you and, got done, that is the total out of pocket. That is including the service right. fee, everything that was not a goop. That is so why while I'm not he even upset. might have ripped you off based on the agreement that you all had. That was a goop in total. But in terms of what you should have paid, if like if you had gone to the Nissan dealership, absolutely, that was not a goop. And, that was and like a, I said, that, that was, was a, a bargain. A seven, eight hundred dollar thing. And I was like, I said, you know what? In the grand scheme of things, yes, I can't even get upset. Because at the end of the day, I got my car back and it's doing what it needs to do. Right. And I said, you know what? Even if I have to chalk it off as just saying, fuck it, it's just his referral fee. He allowed me to do it for whatever. And, you know, it is. I was like, all right, fine. But I was full tilt boogie. Like, I was hot driving home. I was like, this motherfucker. And I was just yeah, trying to calm down. the gas pedal, you was good, though. More importantly, the brakes. I mean, the, to, I, meant the, I, meant, I meant the. But the no, no, but, I, but yeah. But, more, but again, with the gas pedal, when I pressed that, I still hear noise. Well, I heard noise when I when the brakes weren't fixed, but now I can press the gas pedal. Okay, good. So everything is right. working out. Right. Good. But you know, I, I then realized that when I came to visit you the other day, when I had that little uh, fender bender from the mother. Did we talk about that? No, we did not talk about that. Yeah, we did because it happened last week. It did. It happened last week. It happened after the show. Did it? Okay, we'll talk about it. Did it, ha- did it happen after the show? Or was it Tuesday? No, it was, yeah, it was Tuesday. So it was before the show. We talked Tuesday. about yeah, it Tuesday. last week. Yeah. We did talk about How it. the person but when hit I your re- car. Right, but when I realized as the car's parked in the driveway that there was something hanging from the front of my car, you know, that's when I got mad. I what was, was like, it? It is, a, it is this, sm- uh, this piece that's hanging from underneath the, the front bumper. Like, you know, I'll have to show it to you. Like, I can't even. And it looks like there's a screw that looks like it needs to go back up in it. But I got annoyed just that quick because what I thought was just a small amount, like a dent and a dent, like just a dent in the bumper. It still is a dent in the bumper, but I'm still like, <sighs> but this still does not probably equate to what my deductible is. Right. So I'm still kind of like, fuck, oh my God, whatever. But other than that, it's been an okay week. Oh, no, one more thing. Mm-hmm. So I got a phone call for, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh oh. I got a text message. Whenever phone calls. I got a text message from a family member asking me about this 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 house situation. And in the in you've been texting me and calling me, you've been telling me what's going on, and you're saying, listen, we, we're running out of time, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. Now let me be clear. We ain't gotta do shit. Let me be clear. I've already made up my mind and I've expressed to you that this is what I want to do, which is to let this place go. Mm-hmm. We don't even have to have any more conversation. I already realized where they are in the process. Let's go. They are, are supposed to set a sale date. And guess what? This letter was a sale date, which actually was today. But you sent me a text message today. So you and the bank have already handled whatever you need to handle. Oh, so. But you still want me to do this modification thing. And I, when I sent the paperwork off, but a sale date was still already put together. So. A modification for what purpose, though? The modification is to actually alleviate or erase that back balance for so what? that so that then you can now, after I talked to you about it a year ago, you can now take the house. But, but by take the house, you mean buy it? Take Yes, because you are, you are getting it back to zero. You're going to pay it and then take over the mortgage and they have a refinance into your name and all that stuff, like that whole process. No, 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 no. That's but, not a refi. That is a sale. Well, I'm sorry. Sale or finance mm-hmm. into your name. And that's yes. fine. Mm-hmm. So whatever that is. But listen. But that was like a year ago and you didn't do what you were supposed to. And I told you then that this, but you wait until the last minute now. Now I'm look, I'm good. Like so, house is sold. I mean, so I don't necessarily know if any of my family members are watching, but you know what? If you are, then oh well, that's kind of where I am right now. So mm. you missed out on a chance because you got a, you know, mm. clearly you wouldn't have been trying to make a huge profit off of. You just sold it for what it was worth, just so that you don't have to be bothered with it. And they could have got a house for uh, less than. 
whatever going rate was for houses and in the neighborhood. And at the time that they asked me how much the, how much the back payments were, mm-hmm. it was still less than eight thousand dollars. LC. So you and your husband could have come up with that. Okay, well, I mean, but your your husband is. Let me stop because I'm, I'm just. Ready. Just let it go. Let it go. We're going to relax. We're going to relate. We're going to release. One more time. Come on. Relax. Do it with me now. Do it with me now. Relax. We're going to go on. Come on. Relate. Release. So. But fuck the that, family. Fam- Sorry. Right. <laughs> so fine. my I'm, week, I'm, my week was pretty low key since, uh, since the last time we spoke, you know, our pledges crossed. So, you know, that's yes. one thing Congratulations. Off, of, off of my uh, bucket list that we are gearing up for the Pride. DC Black Pride. Yes, DC. And, you know, so with Black Pride and IML and Capital, Capital Pride, Pride and, and Folsom. Yes. And this year is World Pride, which I'm not going to be at either of those because I got to go to Orlando for my fraternity's 25th anniversary but these girls like all right, i'm like all right bitch i am canceling new york shenanigans to come down here but like everybody is in our little group me talking about well i can't go because i'm like bitch if i come down to orlando and none of you bitches are there i am going to light your asses up i mean i'm gonna still have a good time while i'm in orlando because you know i i know how to have fun anywhere but i'm just saying like I, would be I could say what it really is going to be is like I, I could have saved. It's not that I can't have fun in Orlando is that I could have saved the money that I'm going to spend to fly down to Orlando as opposed to and, a bus. Right. right. And stay in a hotel and rent a car and all of that shit. And st- right. I would have just had to fly or catch the bus to New York. But whatever. It's going to be what it is going to be. So I must still have a good time one way or another. So, you know, this weekend I'm looking to a quiet uh, looking forward to a quiet weekend. I have a new potential sub coming to visit and say hello for uh the uh for a Saturday a Saturday night um overnight and then, you know, after the show next week. Oh, so next week Tuesday I have um I have the interview with uh United Airlines. You know, I'm laughing inside like I'm dying inside. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> let me just say without saying any names. I'm, yeah, okay, well, all right. Man. Motherfuckers, try it. They try it. And I, me, have been understanding of the triage because I have been in that situation before. That's all I'm going to say about that. But the limits of my understanding and empathy with your situation are finite. And when you say the wrong shit, then you get talked to. And I, there's someone who I consider a friend now that I don't fuck with. I'm just going to leave it at that. Relax, relax. Did you like my, did you like, that email was... Relax, relate. What'd you think of the email, though? I want to know. <laughs> Tell the girls what you thought of the email. Because I sent, <laughs> I sent him a text. I was like, I am blind carbon copying you on this email because it's someone that we both know. And I was like, just so that you are aware of what's going on. No comment. You got a comment, girl. That no comment is a comment. No comment. I'm going to try it. I'm going to just see how long that's going to last. <laughs> okay. Did you like how I ended? <laughs> it's like if you feel the need to make me a villain in all of this, oh my well, God. then feel, then, then, uh, oh. then be happy with about it. But consider yourself blocked. And grow from love, ho. <clears throat> so, I'm going to just move on to the next subject. <laughs> I will say, though, that I do not. So, this is the last thing I will say about that. We're sort of making fun of it. 
But I oh, yeah. honestly do yeah. not enjoy that kind of interaction because I don't get into rah rah back and forth with people. Most of the times, I'm just like we just going to agree to disagree or whatever. But at some point, you got to stand your ground and and you know remind people of who the fuck you are and who the fuck they are in relation Show to you. Them who you are. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was just like, what? And so just the whole tone of what he had said before that was just like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh we, we no, mm mm. I'm sorry things didn't, you know, turn out your way, but we ain't having none of this. So anyway, but yeah, I was th- I've been thinking about that for the past couple of days because I really am annoyed that I had to go there because normally I just don't. So I, I listen, I grew up, I used to have the kind of temper where like, I would bump my head against the cabinet and put my fist through the cabinet. Like that's the kind of temper I had growing up. And so I have learned to just not engage for the most part so that I don't even get worked up like that. And once I do, then it takes me a long time to come down from that. And I just don't like the fee- that feeling mm-hmm. because I all even though I feel like I had to do it, I still regret that I had to because at that point I was like, bitch, and I didn't even get as vicious as I could have. I could have gotten like a thousand percent more vicious than I did. There were some moments where you just kind of like flipped the script and was like, well, absolutely fucking not. And then, fuck no. And well, kiss my ass. Like it was like that type of, I was like, oh. God. Well, because I would be, I would but start it, off on okay. this like, you know, I understand your feeling, but what you will not do. That's exactly how it was. <laughs> That's exactly how. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I just got slapped. Wait a minute. Oh, and then he felt bad. Oh, I just got slapped on the other cheek. I'm like, bitch, wait a minute. I, I, because I was going through these emotions because I was, I was still trying to be like understanding of his thing. But, and then I'm going to move 30, uh, 10, 30 seconds and I'm going to say this. I feel like for so much of my life, and you probably have gone through this too, I have put the feelings of others before me when I feel like I was 100% justified in being like this in somebody's face, but I'm like, no, well, I'm the president or I'm the founder or I just want to be nice. And meanwhile, everybody is in my face like... But if I say something, then all of a sudden I'm the crazy bitch. And so that was what I was going through. Like, you know, for one second, I was like, I'm going to be the calm collector. It was but then the on most, the other hand, I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? It was the most bipolar letter that I, it was like bipolar by paragraph. <laughs> it was like one bipolar moment in each paragraph. That's all I'm going to say. But to be clear, and I'm, I'm echoing your sentiments, I am not making fun of this situation. Mm-mm. I am looking at it from a very objective perspective, taking out the emotional and the, the hurt that's in it. But the situation was just, there's some funny things about this situation with taking out the, the emotional and the personal stuff. Right. So, but anyway. All right. So we're going, you know, we always spend more time on uh, RuPaul. We'll come back to that. Game of motherfuck. Well, Into the Badlands. I haven't watched that. So we'll start with. I've seen the first season. I know that you, what is this, the third season now? So I, so I have finished all that they're available for. for So that's season three or four. It was was three seasons Mm -hmm. and it irritated the shit out of me because AMC decided to cancel the series. Uh, And so season three did not end. It just stopped. stopped. Mm -hmm. And when I say it stopped, like there's, so again, just like with- Like plot points that are unresolved. Yeah, like there's uh, there's a lot of unresolved, like yes and no, but Mm -hmm. because it it, it opened up another book of worms. Yeah. And that's what it is. So it's a whole other story arc that's getting ready. Well, can of worms, I should say. I was going to say book, uh, chapter of the story, but whatever. It opened up a whole other can of worms, but this- um, it, it annoyed me because they just got to the point where they are trying to, where they have made everything come to a head. And like I said, this opened or started another story. And so that story is never going to start, nor, nor are you going to find out how it ends. And that's mm. where we are. And apparently the, there are fans that are so much into, or that was, that was so into the Badlands, so into the story of Into the Badlands, 
that they have got this petition and the people are listening to them. So there's a possibility that the fans may mm -hmm. have some input into a either a final season or some sort of wrap up in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They something <clears throat> similar happened to this show that was on the Sci-Fi Channel called The Expanse. Yes, it's this very long series of books. They turned into a really spectacular series on the Sci-Fi Channel, mm -hmm. and they canceled it after I guess three seasons. But the fan backlash was so bad that they actually wrote directly to Jeff Bezos the president and CEO of Amazon mm -hmm. and he was apparently a fan of the show so he bought the rights to it and now the next season is in production and is about to start on uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, well, listen, I got my Amazon Prime yeah, we, together, so, listen, so we, to I, I may have to catch up on that. But anyway, yeah. so again, everything about um, everything about Into the Badlands because I was such that Saturday afternoon kung fu theater mm -hmm. movie uh, kid, and you know, it was it was a lot of stuff that kind of for me segued into different things for myself. So like my my stepping into the ballroom scene with 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 voguing and old way and the precision, like that was just kind of amazing to me. So like I stepped into this and I was like, what? This is amazing. Mm -hmm. But what got me all the way together for all of these um, martial arts movies and especially Into the Badlands um, and the, the, the <coughs> when they have a female character in a motherfucking pair of pumps and a ponytail and this hoe is flipping and s t listen I <laughs> I was the gayest kid in America I was like oh my god oh yeah oh look at that it was everything. Mm -hmm. Fabric was flying. People were flipping. Toes was pointed. Everything. Mm -hmm. I was into all of it. It made it, it. Listen, it made me happy. My inner gay child was just like, hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was everything. But anyway, so into the Badlands. Um, the, uh, a quick synopsis. There is a. Uh, the, the, you are in this time after post apocalyptic. Yeah. Post apocalyptic. Po uh, post -apocalyptic apocalyptic wasteland. Wasteland. That's where you mm -hmm. are. And so there are these barons for each of these regions, and there's about six of them in total. And everyone basically is trying to, they're fighting for land and space and, and uh, rights to own and operate certain things. Like one of them was oil, one of them was water, like all these different things that, that, were, that are crucial for life um, in, in this, in this post-apocalyptic time period. They're, each of these barons have their... Um, clippers that are like assassins and which is like the, part of their army but then they also have these regents that are their second in command and they have their family lives and so they're talking about each of the family lives from all the different um, tribes if you will mm -hmm. and how they interact and so there's right. one particular tribe that uh, was she I don't remember what the name of her tribe was I can't think of it right now but it was all women she's the the widow who is one of my favorites again six inch stiletto pumps and the bitch is bad so she gets down with her sword and her hands and her hair and everything else and capes and everything else right but anyway um so there's a she's known for being treacherous and she raises up this her regent with and all of her um people that report to her she calls them her daughters and so there's a story on the opposite side about this particular baron who is um has this interaction with this clipper that is Integral or Wasn't his key. name Sonny or something like Sonny, that? Sonny, yes. Mm -hmm. Who is integral or key to the entire storyline. Mm -hmm. And so it's about Sonny and him having a relationship and then having a child with this woman while still being a part of this particular Baron's tribe. But then there were, there's the treachery of the widow who's trying to actually take over some things and, and monopolize all the different tribes because like I said, there's six or seven different ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, again, it's this whole big power struggle. But again, there's also this spiritual, uh, aspect mystical aspect mm -hmm. that goes on and there's some things that kind of relate to like the, the Bible and that savior and this whole type of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sonny, again, is the key to some of this and a, a lot of stories peeling along or being told as you, as you go along. Sure. Um, and so, it was a great story, and I don't want to tell you too much about it, but you, I definitely will say if... You should if, check it out. If anything, just for the martial arts alone, and it does not move slow. Yeah. Um, it's so quick, and I watched the first season like in one day, and I got yeah, through all of it. So it's like, it quickly. it's really good. So anyway, when they ended it, they finally got to this point where they um, found out about these dark forces, and Sonny had a kid, and the kid was a part of this as well, 
And so it just kind of ended because they ended one story, but then they started another one, or it was going to be the opening of another story and introducing new characters, but then it just ended. So gotcha. hopefully season four will come back, but I'm going to tell you, you need to get caught up on that. It is or just, I just think it's still in, in my queue, so I'll check, just it out. Jump check out the jump rest in. season that I haven't seen. And then after that, what's next up for me is to try to finish the Umbrella Academy because that goes running a little slow for me. Yeah. So, But again, I recommend... Um, I recommend absolutely wholeheartedly into the Badlands. And again, just for the widow, go check her out. <laughs> so Game of Thrones had their penultimate uh, episode uh, on Sunday. And it was the Siege of Winterfell. And it was, you know, the, the title of the episode was The Bells. So, all right. So now we are at the Wint, uh, Winterfell. Uh, King's Landing. So they are at the gates of uh, King's Landing. You know, it's Daenerys and Jon's forces against Cersei's forces and the Golden Company. And, you know, uh, Jamie then left Brienne in the house coat sitting there like, please don't go. Don't leave me. You just took my virginity. I you can't leave me. So, well, he did. And so he's gone back to his, you know, his uh, queen cousin uh, girlfriend, or <laughs> uh, not cousin, sister, because they're twins, but they also, all of their children are also each of their niece and nephew. So, you know. Oof. White people. Oof. <laughs> but, uh, so, all right. So the theme, the, the thing is that if they hear the bells, Danny is not supposed to, they're supposed to stop whatever they're doing. So uh, Tyrion, the uh, little person, I guess is what it, we're, is that the right term now? I think that I think that is. I think other names like the D word is you know. Well, he I think he does have dwarfism. It's a form of dwarfism, but I don't yes. actually know if that's what the. But whatever. Yeah. So he's a Lannister, but he's also. Uh, Daenerys's hand and he was like right, if you hear the bells stop killing people whatever so Daenerys you know she fucks up all of the ships in the water she fucks up all of the forces and everything and then uh, so the land forces you know confront some Lannister land forces and the Lannister land forces are like you know what we don't even really like this bitch and so they, they literally all threw down their swords and the bells ring. And you see Danny, she's sitting there like. And she burnt down the whole fucking city. And it just like her whole thing throughout this entire uh, show for these past 10 years is that she is the breaker of change. She's come to free people from oppression and tyranny and, you know, saving the innocence or whatever. And it's one thing, you know, to blow up all of the ships or the people that are opposing you. It's one thing to cut down and burn all of the soldiers, even like these hired swordsmen, you know, soldiers or whatever. But now she's literally destroying the city and going after people. So she's just not like destroying the city and whatever happens, happens. You see her in the dragon, like people are running and the, she's like, if the dragon, if the people are running like this, she's like right on their tail, like burning them alive. So she, so her father was the mad king and she's now the mad queen. Meanwhile, you know, we got the resolution of a couple of other stories. The funniest thing, was when the Hound, who was the guy with the burnt half face, well, you might not even have counted yet. I do. He has this thing with his brother, who was the Mountain. Right. And so now they're going to fight. They call, they're the Cl Clegane brothers. And so we've been teasing this Clegane bowl forever because they want to see them fight. So when they get ready to fight, Cersei is like, I'm not in this. I'm out. <laughs> so she sort of dips out. And uh, so now... This Sunday is the very last episode of the series, and it feels rushed. It feels like there's so much that still has to happen because it's called Game of Thrones. But even up to this last episode, we have no clear idea of who is going to end up on the Game of Thrones. So I wonder if this last episode is actually going to be an extended episode. It is, but and I mean, it can't be but so long. It looks like 90 minutes. Well, and or if it's one of those things, just like with chess, 
you can make that final move and wrap everything up in one move. I, th- it's not the kind of show where everything is just going to be like, and they all lived happily ever after. No, I don't, You're, I, yeah. I don't think anybody's going to be like, even like the person that wins the Game of Thrones and ends up on the Iron Throne is, is going to have to pay like a terrible price for it. Like, you know, someone's going to win, but they've rest, the whole rest of their family is dead or they got their leg cut off or, you know, whatever it is. Like, you was the most beautiful woman in the world and now you're horribly disfigured. Scarred up. Or something. So it's not going to end well. And, you know, there's been lots of discussion online about it, you know, and I just, like, as a writer and as someone who reads a lot, just think it's a lot of lazy writing because, you know, this is one of the shows in the books Everything that happens, you can you can see like a character's motivation or whatever. Mm-hmm. Here, they just assume so much, and they say something happens, and then when you watch, they have this sort of untucked, but for Game of Thrones, where <laughs> the producers are like, "Oh, well, this is what that meant." And I'm like, "Well, if you gotta have this show afterwards to explain what happened in the show, then the show wasn't well written because you should be able to <sighs> figure out." most of those clues by the shit that happened in the show, not by me telling you, oh, that's what happened. But anyway, all right. So we got 15 minutes left. So, I mean, we, we would have had almost 20 minutes, but here we are. And we're still going. <laughs> so let me just Drag say this. Race. Let me all just right. say this as well. Um, before I go into anything else, Alabama, do you know that there was a law passed today? Um, or oh, Alabama knows. Yes. Everybody else needs well, to know. Sign, that uh, Governor K in Alabama, Governor K. Ivy just signed the state's controversial, a woman. controversial a woman? near total abortion ban. Mm-hmm. So that means that it is now illegal to have an abortion in the state of Alabama. That means that those people who are able to leave the city to take care of this issue, whatever that may be and whatever it may be from or as, you know, as the result of, you now have to leave Alabama to actually have this done. And that is going to disproportionately affect those people that, can, that cannot afford it, number one, right. nor, afford the, 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 nor, afford the, nor afford the travel. And also, it's going to more than likely affect disproportionately people of color in this. Right, and so, so you know, Georgia has a similar law, so you can be like, oh, girl, we'll just go to Atlanta. Well, you can't go to Atlanta. I mean, and... Alabama is, I mean, I mean this is the, the, the deep south. So this isn't like New Jersey where, you know, you can't, I mean, yeah, you could get lost in New Jersey, but, you know, you drive 10 minutes and you're going to run into something. Yes, there's farmland in New Jersey, but my point is, you know, it's not like Alabama. I mean, there are huge parts of the population that's born in this little county grew up in this county and they're going to die in this county and, and they ain't ain't know nothing else outside of that county period. around them and you know so it's not the 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 concept of going someplace else to get this abortion is just not feasible, feasible. because you'd have to you got to take a bus or somebody got to drive you and while most abortions are fairly routine and it's essentially an out of uh, an outpatient surgery, you still got to come up with the money for that, yep. and then and all of this. And you know, Alabama is not a rich place as nope. it is. So you know, we're what we're clearly setting up is a Supreme Court challenge. Which and is so what I am uh, very interesting. What I gets to that point. What I imagine is um, someone. I think the ACLU has already said that they're going to sue. So. I would imagine that there will be an immediate moratorium on implementation of the law Hopefully. while the Supreme Court challenge works its way through. But I don't know how that's going to break. Listen, the, the fact that we are even at this point is the part that really is annoying. And the, Alabama is not the only state that has that no. near total ban. Georgia is another one of them. I think it uh, was mentioned. And right. In Georgia, a, it's the six days, the fetal heartbeat, which is six be weeks, six weeks. And like um, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez was saying six weeks, a lot of women. I mean, that's just when you're, you're missing your period. Yeah. And so 
almost no one is like, oh, before six weeks, you aren't even aware that you've missed your period yet to be, I mean, maybe if you are actively trying, but if you're actively trying, the idea of an abortion is not even on your plate. Right. So anyone who would need an abortion wouldn't be checking, I mean, who, who, who checks themselves two weeks after they had sex, oh, just in case I'm pregnant. No one, th the first sign is that first missed period, right. which at a minimum is going to be uh, about so six weeks. Four to six weeks afterwards. Uh, after you've had that sexual encounter that caused you to get pregnant. And just the idea that these men, men, are getting involved in a situation, and you know, you know, dumb people are just like, oh boy, but it's a couple, it's their decision. I was like, well, the man, I mean, listen, so ideally, the two people should have this conversation, but the man needs to come to this conversation realizing that whatever you think is ultimately whatever the fuck she says, because she's the one that's got to carry it in her body. She's the one that is literally lis risking death by having this child. She's the one who will have permanent potential changes to her body beyond this. And uh, so, so yeah. And I mean, yeah. I'm not even going to say what my personal opinion well, I mean, I guess I will. I mean, I would wish that we lived in a world where we didn't have to have abortions, but I mean, that's that's a ridiculous thing to wish for because people have any number of reasons why they don't want to have children these days. People want to have careers. They just don't fit in. And also to say, well, you shouldn't have unprotected sex. That's ridiculous. That is a puritanical whole. Sex serves other functions besides mere procreation. That is absolutely correct. And you can't shame people for being like, oh, well, then you shouldn't have got pregnant. Shut up, Desmond. I think they need to stuff her back in her mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, clown. <laughs> Shut up. So anyway, so we got, what, what, what we got now? It, uh, what time is it? Okay, so we got enough time. Right, so to... drag race. Yes. So can I just say that uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez did not burn down Andre <laughs> Risen's house for <laughs> Nina and silky to disrespect no scrubs the way they did. It was just awful. It, it was, was horrible. Awful. Let's go back horrible. and do a quick but replay on that. Re the, rewind, yeah. rewind, rewind. The first thing was they had the fake slap mini challenge, which I, which Brooklyn won, which I thought was, I was like, eh. But I will say this. Shout out to Evie with that curl backwards dip that she did, where she, she kind of fell back. She was like, Rrr! like she I, rolled over like, like a wheel. Right. Like a wheel. I thought she was, right, I thought yeah, she, like she was going to roll, roll over like a yes. wheel. Mm -hmm. um, Brooklyn's had, you know, she was so shady. Oh my God. Some of the stuff that's coming out of her mouth was just. That, the, the reads were way better than the reading challenge. Yes, they were. Like, it was, I was amazed at that. Um, she, um, what I'm talking about. Oh, the, she said that she had made comments about somebody looking like testicles, um, somebody being a homeless person that she didn't want to slap. Like, it was it just was like, it was a, it was I think it was silky. It was a lot of them. like a homeless person or something like that, yeah. Um, but anyway, so the, 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 that was the mini challenge. The maxi challenge was that they had to make up um, returning queens, returning queens mm -hmm. as a part of their family. And so I didn't think Brooklyn did a, a good, uh, she didn't do a bad job of matching up the people. I don't think it was particularly shady. So it wasn't Silky to me. felt like she was being shaded because of Soju, but anybody who got Soju was going to, be actually no not no they probably really wouldn't because soju is she does that all white thing so beat that face so it's all white and then paint on with how you want her look that's it period True. but but it had to be a drag family resemblance absolutely 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 so uh all right so i have a few that you know akiria is becoming my has been my favorite talking head yes. when, when, when uh ariel was talking about um the wig she's like oh oh so now she's that you know this is my new Hashtag backpedaling and pussy popping. That's so, my new hashtag. Let me right back there. up. Backpedaling and pussy popping actually came up on Spill It Boy's website. Like he actually has a whole series called Backpedaling and Pussy Popping. So that's oh. his shit. I'm gonna, oh, go, I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna give him credit for that. All right. Because he like that is absolutely. I can't take that away. Nobody should take that away. Okay. And when I heard it, I was like, Come on, Spill It Boy. Copyright. You let tra uh, patent pending. Patent pending. Patent pending. Listen. So listen. It, it was there. But yes, that backpedaling pussy pop. That absolutely. was hilarious yes. to me. Yes, like, yes, yes. Oh, so before you was all like these, you know, wigs, 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 and you was all yada 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 until somebody was in your face, and now you backpedaling and pussy popping. Absolutely. And, like, and okay, now, and then the be. funny thing for me was Scarlet. The shady part and the funny part was, but was, was she owned up to it? Because she, she did own she, up to she, it. She like, yeah, I said it. She's, and she it did was own true. Up to it. And I was like, and I was like, it, what she uh, said wasn't that. I mean, here's was, my thing. Here's my thing. 
whole say what the fuck they want. If you, but here's the thing: what you should have been like, well, but bitch, I'm still here. And like that would here. that would have shut everything down. Like okay, but bitch, I'm painting your face because you just came back from the challenge. So sit tight and let me. And paint your face up. on top of this, regardless of what happened. It's still a chance and I'm gonna be here. Nothing you can do can bring you can back. bring you back. So Okay. Yeah. But anyway, so I thought the pairing was good. I liked uh Vanji and Ariel. But wait a minute, did you check out Vanji's face when Rue announced the winner? She was like, Ooh, if I wasn't fucking this bitch, I would be so <laughs> mad. <laughs> if, she, I, if she wasn't fucking Brooklyn, she would have been pissed, much and more pissed than she was. Brooklyn was like, we're going on a trip. I was like, oh, okay, bitch, well, okay. Because Brooklyn knew too. She, Everybody okay. knew that she deserved to, she deserved uh, to win that pageant. I mean, that, win that, that, that because that, after yeah. all of the shit that they've been giving her about, you know, the looks, I feel like she was the one who most brought it through. She brought it and through. was listening to the critiques yes. and everything. So, um, now, Good old Nina and Sugar. I like their ideas. It was very costumey, but I, I was like, it was okay. I didn't think it was bad. I just, I didn't think it was horrible. But it was, it was a little costumey. But I didn't think it, it was, was costumey. It wasn't terrible. Now we're going to talk about the lip sync. Nina's lip sync was very boxy and stiff, and she clearly had no soul. But, but she, she at least knew all the fucking words. Ding 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 ding. Whereas Silky was doing all of that backpedaling and pussy. Well, actually, no, no, no. He said, now you just are flopping off these across these that, <laughs> Who said that, though? Was uh, it Akira? Was it Akira? I said, <laughs> girl, like, you know what? She, no. She's she, she like, now she like just lying there like a whale. And then she, then she, she in this wig, and now. The said, wig reveal. Now Silky. You just, and, and, Silky. She, and then she's like, now you just a flopping across these people's stage. This wig reveal, with, honey, listen. It wasn't. Did, and then, did you, you see that clip? And, go back and check out my girl, Ms. Roxy Andrews, if you're going to do ever do a wig reveal. Right. That's where you start at. You go better than that. Don't do this shit that you don't, because that was sloppy. That was messy. But I saw another clip of Silky, like, just in her regular drag life. Silky's not a good lip syncer. She talked all of that foolishness and all of that shit. And she, she, was, she, 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 was she herself up. better be glad that she never did have to lip sync against Evie because her ass would have been Evie sent her home a long time ago. I mean, we knew that already, yeah. even without having that, because we just know, like, Evie learns from whatever people say, and she, like, truly is a fighter. And listen, sometimes you fuck up in the challenge, yeah, but, I you mean, know, you keep whatever. Going. But yeah, you was going, you would have got your ass sick. And this ending, I that was some old bullshit. Because listen, I yes, they should have both been sent home. That, that would have been better for me. Or, or Nina, Nina should have stayed. Because there's no way that Silky did anything. She was terrible in the lip sync. Her look was raggedy. Was, was raggedy. It, it was, was raggedy. So the worst that you could say about Nina's look is that they didn't match. If she was just doing like a, like they said, like a, a gay pride and a trans pride thing together, right. it would have been a perfectly fine look. So it wasn't that the look itself was necessarily terrible. It just wasn't on theme. So they gave me sunny and hair. Like I said, it wasn't sunny and share with sunny and hair. Yeah. And what, uh, somebody who I don't, I can't remember who it was said that she showed you look like a Teletubby with lumps. And she did. So would she be lumpy bumpy? <laughs> it was just terrible. And just, anyway, you know, and, and so it's you know, Bro, I'm I'm just I'm a, questioning not a curious. Room. Silky is one of it just, just confirms why Silky is one of those people that talk shit. And you know, sometimes people talk shit and they are good. Yeah. But everything that Silky said she was good at, she wasn't good at. Because earlier in the season, she talked about, I'm a beauty queen. I beat faces. I, people come to me to have me beat their face. Well, you had the perfect opportunity to beat Soju's face. And listen, bitch, I have never put makeup on anybody, let alone myself. And I could have blended. She literally put like a big dark circle on the side of her face with this hard ass line, it wasn't blended or anything. Blending. blending, blending. It's all about the blending. blending. I mean, it was terrible. So the beat was absolute. I feel like I could. I mean, when I say I could have done a much better job, I feel like I could have done a much better job because I'd have been like, "This is at least yeah. blend." And it was and but using sharpies. But you could have drew that on. Just draw it on. Just draw her face on. The outfit was terrible. 
Although I feel like almost, that was when she almost tripped, that was hilarious. But Silky was the one that tripped, that's not Soju. No, Silky, that's what I'm saying. When she almost tripped, that was hilarious. Soju, I feel like Soju made the best of the bullshit that she got. Yeah, Soju was if like, anybody, fuck it, I'm on stage. I'm going to do what the fuck I'm going to do. Like, this is redemption for me. But yeah. yeah, so Silky wasn't good at beating other people's faces. She wasn't good at dressing other people. She wasn't good at lip syncing. That was an old raggedy ass split where she didn't so much split and sort she of slowly fell. fell, slid in, threw her leg out. Like Miss Akira said, she flopped into that thing. Because listen, Flopping across big girls can do stage. splits. And let's, let's refer you to Latrice Royale because Miss, Miss, when, when Miss Latrice falls into a split. Right. Even Eureka. Yes, Eureka as well. Eureka and um, uh, that was, she was the one who. The one who broke her knee. Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, so like, and then she was, who was that? Those part of the, said the big girl wins. That was Eureka, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. That was, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Listen, they were, but so cute. No. Mm-mm. It was so, so shady to me that they didn't bring back uh, Raja or. Um, and Raja was the one that walked off with them Jardy's wigs. Apparently, I didn't see. I don't watch Untucked, so I didn't even know. No, when they, they, they said started that, talking about the whole wig gate. I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah, Apparently they, all of that happened they on They said that they were like, a couple people took, because Silky was like, well, I took this one, I took that one. And then they were like, well, where's the other one? The one that she really wanted. Ms. Raja had it. I said, okay. Well, so here's my thing. I would never take anything out of that workroom unless someone like personally told me. I would have never made the assumption. And especially if I wasn't even friends with that yeah, person. Like, why, because like, you know how expensive those wigs are. So unless someone specific, first of all, I feel like this was all a setup. Because as much money as she claimed and as many wigs as she had, how could you have not realized that you were left on there when you was packing? But, but, but I, so even whatever. if you did, I personally, like if you were in the workroom and I were in the workroom and you got sent home first because you would have. Uh, This bitch just tried it. And when you got sent home and left all those wigs, and so let's put it this way, even if I did use your wigs, I would never have taken them off of the show without having a conversation Oh, absolutely. With you and, first, because that's... And the other thing, too, is if that was your good... If that was your BFF, your good Judy, your your sister, mm-hmm. you would have taken her wigs and put them in your bag and given them, given them to her when you saw her, because you were going to see her again. Right. So... You and were, you would have let everybody know. Yeah. Like, plastic, I'm taking you were lying, But you're lying, Plastic, because you're talking about she left her... Plastic, you're lying. All right. of you are lying. You all just want to take it. And away. Ariel's That's lying, too, because, you know, she got it. But, you know, I'm from New... She pulled that Chicago. New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from New the Jersey. Jersey. And then... When she was confronted about it, that's when they carry it. was like backpedaling and pussy. Yeah, like, girl, where's that jersey at? All right, we got three minutes. All right, so the BGK8 show streams live on Wednesdays on www.boxwave.com from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern and 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific. That's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern and 5 to 6. Not 8.05 to 9.05. (laughs) 505 to 605. Just so that we're clear. All right. This is my unbothered look, people. I just want you all to get into it. Episodes are available on YouTube every Friday. Just search uh, Vox Power 373 and look for the BGK8 show of Dominion and Epic. You can also find us by looking for Vox Power 373 on Instagram, Instagram uh, SoundCloud, and iTunes. Take your time. We got an extra four minutes. Actually, we don't, because, see, that's the thing. Oh, There's a hard I stop. Like, oh, okay. There's right. a hard gotcha. stop. Got gotcha. you. So are you done? No. Okay, so what's the next? Currently, we have the ability to host a live audience, and the audience should be here by 8 p.m. Actually, they should be here before then. Well, so should the hosts. They should be here before then, yes. <laughs> but I want to come in and greet you. <laughs> If you can't be a darling, <laughs> if you can't be in I'm our studio saying. audience, you can call and chat with us at two four zero seven one nine two five six zero. One more time for two, the people that didn't show up at eight o'clock. Two four zero seven one nine two five six zero. Y'all got so that? So epic. How can the people get in contact? You with can you? reach me on Facebook at four minutes late dot com. No. <laughs> You can find me on Facebook <laughs> under Epic Onyx. You can reach me on uh, Instagram at uh, I am Epic Onyx. You can find me on Twitter on Twitter at Epic Onyx One. So, Dominion, where, where can they find you at? 
always you, early that you can find me on twitter and instagram at hashtag always on time okay hashtag always on my shit dot com no uh at dom onyx on twitter and instagram facebook.com slash dominion dot onyx and my website www.domonyx.com where i will be writing a story about a certain silver-haired friend of mine who is always late so listen this is what the g stands for in the bgk show the gays how they get how they get real nasty and vindictive Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm blind, baby. laughs> Thank y'all for coming. Good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>